the question about whether we see the pathology associated with CTE in individuals who have not had a trauma history, um, the evidence for that is really none. Uh, this, it, the pathology is very characteristic. Um, um, I think at this point, uh, a lot of this work has been done by my uh, colleague, Dr. Ann McKee at Boston University School of Medicine and at the Boston VA Healthcare System. And um, to our knowledge, uh, collectively as a field, um, the types of pathology we see are really unique to this disorder and are unique to individuals who've had um, repetitive trauma um, in most cases, and now we're starting to see um, some evidence of uh, blast-related uh, trauma. But um, as we may discuss in a, in a short while, there's some connections there. Uh, but we do not see this type of pathology in individuals without any trauma history. Now, I'm going to put a slight caveat on that. Um, it's rare uh, amongst people uh, alive and walking around that uh, no one's been bumped on the head. So um, I, I certainly have, and I think most, most people have. So we don't really know um, what that relationship is to neurodegenerative diseases. One thing that's becoming clear is that um, it doesn't require, this type of trauma does not require concussion, per se, or loss of consciousness. So some of these injuries may occur and people are stunned, maybe, or um, they have, they're uh, not exactly right. Uh, their, their bells have been rung, for example, uh, but they're not knocked out. They don't black out. So it, it may not be that you require um, a loss of consciousness for these injuries. In fact, the data seem to be pointing in that direction rather strongly, that it's more the nature of repetitive uh, brain injury or in the case of some injuries like blast, for example, um, which turn out to be multiple injuries very closely spaced together, um, the intensity uh, of, the, of the inciting uh, trauma. So we, we don't know the answer to that yet, and we actually don't know what the contribution of CTE might be uh, in relationship to other neurodegenerative disorders.